If anybody ever wonder how hard it was to remove an old vinyl floor, try like three layers of it. Anyway, some are really stuck in there good. It's a little higher, so that's going to be a good transition. I'm not going to worry about that. a soft spot underneath there remember yesterday I was yeah. telling you well this is pretty disheartening the uh, vinyl I guess been there so long and then water got underneath from the washer over there uh, to the subfloor I was worried since I saw that that was replaced over there where the washer was I figured I felt the soft spots under my feet and I thought hmm it might be rotted, and it is. It's rotted, and it's rotted down pretty far. But, uh, I don't know. Like, if I put any weight on there, it's gonna go, my foot's gonna go through. part of the soft floor and there's more that could use but it's pretty strong so I figured I'm not gonna worry about this part. Well, we all got up early this morning and started putting down the new subfloor. It makes a big difference it's great. Hey guys tired we got all the subfloor in down we went with an eighth of an inch plywood because it was $13 a panel and that's really all I needed to kind of uh, make everything smooth and clean.
gotta love this new vinyl. It's great stuff. Yeah. It's gonna look good once it's all done. It looks like wood. Yeah. Hey guys, how you doing? Like my hat? <laughs> all right, so I wanna show you a little bit of what's going on here. Just to recap. I had to resolve some issues with the subfloor. There was a lot of rot because I guess the clothes washer was leaking. The kitchen sink was leaking for like forever. So I put all new wood. Then I put cheap plywood, the cheapest I could find because I just wanted to get a smooth surface for my linoleum to go down. So what I did is I put the uh, $15 panel, 4x8, uh, 8 of an inch plywood and I'll show you in a minute. I put that down, screwed it really good, lots of screws because I don't want it to move. And now I'm in the process of installing the flooring. Dollar a tile, I think it would have came to. So, but I want to show you. Dollar a square foot is what uh, Pink's telling me. Hi, Pink. Hi, guys. Um, it looks really good for a peeling stick. There are these long strips here, made in China and it feels really like I mean it feels really nice it feels expensive when you touch it so it's not like your old vinyl flooring that you know yeah it has texture your grandma used to have in her kitchen is what was underneath this floor which is but this is by the way look at this pattern right here guys this is from like 1963 when they built the house that is the original vinyl flooring and that's something still holding up for that matter all right, so I'm gonna continue on here and the idea now is to do everything with this because it'll be easier, faster, cheaper than uh, sanding and doing any of that nonsense. So I'm going to just go ahead and put uh, the same flooring throughout all of the rooms. Bedroom one, bedroom two. It's a nice hardwood floor, but it has a lot of stains, it would need to be sanded and then refinished. And since we're on a very tight budget right now, uh, what I decided to do is to go with this instead because uh, by the time I rent the sander and you know, buy the polyurethane, the stain and all of that good stuff, I might as well just put this floor down. It wasn't that expensive, a dollar a square foot.
What do you think, guys? Looking better? I think so. Brands are up a lot, that's for sure. Let's go see what Pink is doing. My hard working woman. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the uh, handles off of the cabinets Good. so I can soak them. I think it's a nice. flat screwdriver. Yeah, I got it. Save the screws too if you can. Yeah, I got the screws in my pocket. And I took the uh, hinge off of the door from that we took off the, the office. Uh huh. So. Okay, great. Save whatever we can. Yep. And like those two over there are pretty okay pieces of wood. Oh, okay, yeah, so I see. To use for like a Plywood, yes, absolutely. So. Save the wood. Yeah, I'm gonna it's as good as gold can. these days, huh? Yeah, I'm going to save whatever we can. Yes. I'm going to put all the garbage here so we can have access up and down the steps to clean off the uh, deck. Okay. Yeah, this is all that came out of the kitchen. Yeah, I know. It's pretty gross. It's a lot of stuff. Anyways. The drawers are still up here. There's three drawers with uh, hinges on it. Okay, well, I'm going to go back in and continue laying down that floor. I'm going to be out here rummaging through the garbage. <laughs> yeah, you're looking sexy with your glasses on your nose and your pink gloves and everything. I love you so much. I love you too. Uh, okay, I'll see you in a little bit, honey. Okay, I love you, baby. Well, another long day. We uh, got the um, kitchen half of the hallway and the living room and the, bathroom. and the bathroom tiled it was the best option for us right now because we're sleeping out of the van yeah we need to get in the house so i'm tired and i'm not sleeping very comfortably because you yeah. know i have back issues and stuff like and issues. the air mattress not... is kind of like a, a water bed I'm so done with the van life. We've been eating sandwiches yeah. for like over a week. You know, every day, ham sandwiches, turkey sandwiches. It's getting old. But yeah, the cold cuts um, after a while. This it's old. nice couple was so nice today to come by uh, or about yeah. an hour ago. I... And brought us dinner, homemade, and some homemade jam. They were very, very sweet. Very sweet. Very the sweet. The only people, actually, I haven't had a welcome to a neighborhood. And we've been to different neighborhoods. Yeah, this is the like first ever. time that we've So had. this was very, I, I was very <laughs> much appreciated. Right. And there are neighbors from two miles over. So that's kind of sweet that they actually drove this distance to come out and say. Yeah. Hello. But, but you yeah, know. So that's, you know, the plan is to get in uh, as quickly as we can. It's coming along and at least now we have projects. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, guys, that was the update for now. Tomorrow we'll try and get this floor finished and then we'll move on to painting and whatnot. Yeah, once we get to the painting, things I think will move so much quicker. It, at least it will feel quicker anyway, seeing the fresh, freshly painted walls. So. Right. But okay. that's it for now, right, baby? Yeah, I just need a good shower, and we had some good dinner, some so we're good. Compliments of our neighbors. And, um, and we'll talk to you soon. Ciao. Bye, guys.